this is how I've been starting my days since I've been back. Get a little exercise in, remind myself what I'm missing. Good morning, welcome to this week's weekly update here in front of beautiful scenic Riverside. Today is Thursday, May 26th. Let's get back over to my boat. I'll show you guys what I've been up to this week. So yesterday with the help of Peter, we built the first lithium battery bank and I'll show you that right now. But boom. Now I'm assembling the second one sort of by myself. A little bit nerve wracking, but here's the beginning of it. A lot of work to be done here. Let's see how we get on. So check this out. This is the completed 280 nominal amp hour 224 usable amp hours at 12 volts something like i think it was 5300 watt hours for both 5300 watts for the two uh, that you have right now for usable yeah this looks so much like a bomb to me and i treat it pretty much the same Arky Sparky has been the word of the week here on the boat. Look at it. All right, so here's a quick breakdown of what we're working with. We have four cells put into series. Each cell has a voltage of about 3.29. That's what they're at right now, yeah. Yeah, they're at, okay, so they're at, so they will go higher than the that. The nominal is 3.2. Okay. Um, so, so each one of these cells has 3.29 volts. You put them in series, so then you're keeping the amps the same as they go across, but you're increasing the voltage from three to six to nine to 12. Technically it actually is at 13 point something because of lithium. Uh, side note, we actually saw the lights in my boat get brighter when we went over Everything's from- Everything's brighter today. Yeah. Sure. Everything. <laughs> the world is just brighter. Okay, back to technical. We have these buses that are connecting to keep us going in series. And then we have our main positive and our main negative and that's what actually is forming the battery. And down here with these nice little things so they can't go arky sparky, because that's the word. So that effectively makes the battery. We have the, we're adding together the voltage from these cells to give us our 12 volts electricity. We're actually getting more than that, but that's just how batteries work. Now, lithium requires a little bit more stuff. This is a BMS, battery management system is a very special, very complicated chip for all intents and purposes that each has its own lead going to a different positive with one more going to a master negative to give it electricity. So there's effectively a lead on each one of these that tells us the voltage and probably a bunch of things. It, it does measure how much current is going in and out as well. So this does current. have its own columbic counter, but it's the accuracy is kind of in. Yeah. That's why you want the Victron. It gotcha. just works better. So this BMS um, battery management system will tell us not only the voltage, but it will also manage the battery because it's easy to mess this battery up if you put too much current into it, not enough, you discharge it too much. You, there are all, all sorts of things. Temperature, high or low, yep. there's a lot of things. Um, for sure there's pros and cons to all different battery types you go with. The big pro to going with lithium is I've just saved I, these two batteries probably weigh less than one. Yeah, they must weigh less. Than one. Than one of my other batteries. They weigh less. They take up about, I would say, 50% less space. Per, per, per one. I mean, you, you, put the, you put the hood on and it, it feels like a... Yeah. I think it's just the way, the way the space is laid out. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so, so they take up a lot less. But the amount of like more electricity I have, put it to you guys this way, I had before total... We figured about about 150 amp hours. Yeah. Yeah, so I was using 150 amp hours before. Now I have roughly 500 usable amp hours. 150 to 500. 
That's nice. It's very, very nice. Um, yeah, we're watching. So I'm using Victron for a lot of my stuff here. I now have, I've got four Victron products on the boat, two MPPT solar charge controllers, one um, battery monitor, and then I will be soon plugging in one Multi Plus, which will be very cool. So these are the apps. This is actually somebody else's somewhere here. So for instance, I can go into my 600 watt series to parallel. That means that one is responsible for six of my um, panels. And right now we can see we're getting 474 watts into my battery. That's pretty good, that's not bad. We can see what the solar voltage is. So it's bringing in almost 50 volts at nine, almost 10 amps. But then for the batteries, it's changing that to 13.85 and 33 something amps. That's what the battery, oh, I'm sorry, that's what the solar charge controller does. It takes whatever the solar panels are doing, because they're doing all different voltages. As the sun comes out, the sun goes down, all sorts of things. They're converting that for the batteries. Now, a really cool thing is it said state bulk. That means the type of charging that it's doing. And I love this part of Victron. You'll notice there's one giant bar. That's because we went to lithium just recently. All these other days are when I was on my lead acid. And you'll see, let's pick this there. It says bulk absorb float. So that's bulk, which means it's sending in a lot of electricity. Float, which means that it's sending in a little bit less. And then float means it's just topping it off. It's just giving it a little, little bit here and there. You'll notice with this, it's just all bulk and it's going far higher than any other I've ever had. That's just because I'm not gonna be filled up by the end of the day. I thought I would, but the electrician man here did say like, no, you're not going to be full by the end of the day, not with one. So it's probably, how long do you think it'll take to charge all, to charge both of them? Days. Days. It'll take me days to charge it, it, both of them. It depends on how much you use. You know? I'm, I mean, I'm excited you're, though. You're, you're getting there, but it's gonna, yeah. it's just going to take like yeah. a while. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, so when I was out at sea and even now I just, I love looking at this because it tells me exactly how much electricity uh, I've been taking into the boat. Um, and you can see here, I'm very proud of that number. Lifetime total, 578 kilowatts. And that's just one of the arrays. If I go back here, I go to the 400. So this one will be a little bit less because it's just 400 in series. I put that in their name so I can't forget what they are, which is a fantastic way to do it. And you'll see again, same thing, just whoop, all white. So this one's only done 256 kilowatts uh, total for its life, which actually, yeah, isn't that, yeah, that's like half of what the other one, the other one was like five something, I think. So that is a compressed version of what I've been working with. So to recap the battery, we have four of these big cells that have electricity. We have these bus bars that connect them to keep it going in series. So we got negative to positive, positive to negative, negative to positive. And then these here become our two very live arky sparky ones. We have, this is called Kapton tape, and it is a non-conductive tape that helps hold it all together, but also makes it look super cool. We have the battery management system with five wires coming out, one to a master positive, one to a master negative, but still one to each of the positives anyways, and that's what allows it to see what's going on. As well, then it has one other thing that goes to this little Bluetooth. That's it. Temperature sensor. And temperature sen sensor. Yeah. So there's not really that many things on this when you start breaking it down like that. You've just got lugs, you got parts, but once you work with it a little bit, you're like, wow, this thing's actually really, really simple. That is a very quick rundown. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to give a very, very simplified answer. Cheers.